Hello everyone, just getting off of work, it's like 3.30 in the morning, uh, it's a cold and misty night here in Fresno, and it uh, made me want to talk about Jalapa, Mexico. Jalapa was a place that I visited, it was in the mountains around 5,000 feet, and the day I got there, I went from being in extremely hot weather to it being misty and very foggy like this. So anyway, this video is going to be about Jalapa. So to be perfectly honest, at this point, I was ready to do anything to get out of the city. Um, I ended up taking a train all the way from the west side of Mexico City to the east side of Mexico City. Filtered air is good. This is actually the dome over the Mexico City concourse for the bus station. It's bigger than most airports. Going out of the city, you can see desert, mountains in the background, but smog. So much smog in that valley. Um, it eventually does start to clear up and everything. You pick up about another 2,000, 2,500 feet to go through the pass to get out of the valley. I, the weather changes immensely. You can see here it's raining. I think I had an asthma attack somewhere in here. Then you start to drop down into Jalapa and it was just so nice to see the fog. I am out of Mexico City. I am in Jalapa. Um, probably about 60 degrees. It's foggy and raining. I can breathe. Uh, I'm about 4,300 feet. Uh, I feel a lot better. Um, just to let you know how my day went, this is my first coffee and it's almost 6 p.m. Uh, more later. Literally sat enjoying the fog for about two hours. Then I grabbed a taxi going into town. Some of the first buildings I saw. This is the state capitol. All lit up pink and across the street, the giant cathedral. Anyway, before I go into my file footage on Jalapa, let me just tell you where Jalapa is at. It is between Mexico City and Veracruz. It is the capital of the state of Veracruz. So you can use that. You can look it up. It's spelled X-A-L-A-P-A. -A -A. Look it up if you want. You can see exactly where it's at. So now I'm going to go into my footage and talk about Jalapa. So, yeah, this is the room I got for tonight in uh, Jalapa. So, little bathroom thing, tiny shower, really small bathroom. Check out the room. TV, giant freaking bed, windows. And now, here's the fun part. Bam! Bathroom part two with hot tub. I should have went to bed, but you know how it is. I have to explore a new city. This is right in front of the hotel. Beautiful. So, one thing you have to remember about Jalapa. Nothing is flat. There are hills. Nothing is flat in Jalapa. Very big hills. So check out these gorgeous windows. Always look up when you're traveling. You never know what you're going to see. Jalapa was a city of murals. They were everywhere. We'll come back to this one at a later point. Oh look, stairs. Kick these stairs ass. I feel so much better. Yeah. Mm. Take that, stairs. Once again, nothing is flat in Jalapa. Look at the hill. So this reservoir was really a centerpiece of what I thought of as the lower city. To the left is the University of Veracruz. Uh, there's art all around it. Check out this guy coming up right here, though. Giant freaking war club. Gotta love that. Cool statue. 
Not a club though, you know. Also, another cool statue, but not a freaking war club. So, Jalapa also has a tunnel through the middle of town. And, as always, nothing is flat in Jalapa. So it was very peaceful walking around that first night. And the gentle rain, beautiful lights and everything. You can see the neon on the wall there. It's just a nice change of pace. So this is a coffee roaster. They grow coffee in the Veracruz Highlands. And you see that umbrella right down there? That is going to be dinner. Street food, bacon wrapped hot dogs. I actually opted for a hamburger. Now if you'll check in the upper right hand corner, they're frying the cheese. They fry the cheese before they put it on the burger. Now this ended up being exceptionally spicy. It was still very good because the mushrooms were soaked in habanero water. So you can tell they were happy to see me. Reason is I was the only person out that night. So what do you do after you eat dinner? You head back to the hotel.